Hi everyone, it's Marissa from BumblebeeApothecary.com and today I'm going to bring you along and this is a spend the morning with me video so I'm just going to take you along in my morning. I'm doing a variety of things, some kind of different things and yeah, so we'll go ahead and jump in. So the first thing that we're doing today is just getting some breakfast going. So this is one of our routine breakfasts that we have a lot lately. Doing some sausage links in the oven, all natural pork sausage, scrambling up some eggs on the stove in some lard, and then we have our sourdough bread. I'm just sticking in the oven just to kind of warm it up and toast it just a little bit, and we'll be having that with lots of butter. So I'm just getting breakfast going. And our fermented food with breakfast is something that we typically do is milk kefir. So I'm just pouring some of that into glasses for all of us. So today, if you saw in one of my more recent videos, we have some pretty exciting changes going on here. And I am really just working on a bunch of different things this morning and one of the big things that I'm working on is more packing. So over the past couple of weeks or so, I have been packing up a lot of stuff that we don't need every day and now we're getting down to the wire and needing to pack up more of the stuff that we use on a regular basis. So today I'm going to be doing a lot of packing in the kitchen. First thing before that though is just putting away some produce that we got in our produce box. You've heard me talk about Misfits Market before. This is not sponsored by them or anything, but I do really like getting produce this way. I find it's very helpful for budgeting to be able to just stick to a weekly produce box. They have really good prices on organic produce that would otherwise normally, you know, end up being thrown away or something. Instead, you can get it at a discount. There's sometimes funny sizes or shapes, different things like that, but I've really liked Misfits Market, so I'm putting those away. And then I'm getting a few other random things done. I wanted to wash all the bathroom towels. I wanted to wash the shower curtain. So I'm taking that down and I'm just gonna wash all of those things together. And then also this morning I'm tackling some laundry. So I have kind of our weekly laundry load here ready to sort and put away. So I'm just sorting this out into piles. And then I'm going to have my older kids put their laundry away and then I will put away ours and the younger kids laundry. Once that's done, I'm actually gonna go get some oil pulling going. So I'm getting some coconut oil out of my jug. It's getting very low. This one's almost gone. But I'm just scooping that out of there and then I'm just gonna do a little oil pulling session. That's one of the things I like to do is nice detox and good for teeth and gums and things like that. And then I'm also just kind of cleaning up things from breakfast, getting some stuff put away. I always have to find these little pockets just to kind of put stuff away, tidy up a little bit, clean up. And they're requesting some lemon juice in their water, so we're getting that. And then I'm also getting some food out for lunch to start heating up, so I'm just going to stick that into the oven, some leftovers. Just kind of keeping the kitchen going, thinking about the next thing, what's the next thing that has to happen. And then my other big task for this morning is packing. So I'm, like I said, moving into some of the things that we use more on a regular basis. Everything's a little bit crazy. It looks kind of like a mess, but I think it's organized chaos for the most part. I think we're doing a pretty good job keeping track of things, staying organized. It's just that when you're moving, everything has to be pulled out. There's so much to keep track of, so many moving pieces. Mentally, this 
time is pretty exhausting with just the the selling process and the buying process and all of that but it's exciting to be moving towards the home stretch and getting to be done with that soon so i'm just going through my cabinets here pulling out all these things that i've sort of left to the last minute things that we use on a more regular basis and I'm just packing them up. And so what I'm doing is I'm not taping the boxes closed. I'm just sticking them in the living room because I know that we're still going to need to be using these things up until pretty much moving day. But for me, it's a lot nicer for my mental sanity just to know that they're in boxes and that all it needs is to just close it up, tape it up, and then we can go. That way, it just seems a lot more like things are in, in control even though we're days away from moving day that way I know that we're ready because I don't want to leave too much for the very last minute even though there's quite a number of things that we do use on a regular basis and in one of my more previous videos you saw a little bit of a glimpse of where we're going and I'm really excited to show you guys more about that as we get closer. Once we're there and I can show you a full tour and all that kinds of thing, all that kind of stuff. And so, yeah, this process is just like the final push to get everything last minute packed up and prepare for moving day. So this part of the process always makes me a little bit more nervous when it's all the breakable items, the glass, storage containers. I tend to use a lot of packing paper, just try to pack everything really securely, and that's always worked well in the past. When we knew that we were going to want to be moving in the new near future, we started compiling a whole bunch of boxes. So for the most part, we were able to use boxes that we had already saved. We did get some from a couple other places, but I was able to do a lot with just what we had saved. So every time we got produce, we would save the box. The sourdough bread boxes, all those that are nice medium to smallish size boxes, worked really well to be able to just, we stowed them away in our basement and then when it was time to pack, we pulled them all out and used them. So that worked really well. We did move quite a bit when I was growing up, so I do have experience moving, which comes in handy. Let me know if any of you guys are kind of the same, if you've moved a lot or a little, or what that's looked like for you, and let me know what tips you have, what kind of things that you've found that works really helpful, because moving can be so overwhelming and busy and stressful, and I always like it when there's tips and hacks and things that make it easier and smoother so i know i'm thankful just for that experience moving i know how to pack things from all that moving that i did growing up and yeah so i just am glad for that it's not totally new to me i know the process and the drill and how to pack things securely so let me know what your best tips are for packing and moving all right, I hope that you enjoyed coming along and seeing how I'm spending the morning today on a pretty different day, a pretty non-typical day because we have some interesting new things happening. But hopefully you enjoyed seeing that and I'd love to hear your thoughts about moving and tips that you can share. Make sure to check out that description box. I have links to different things that I've made for you guys, ebooks, programs, different things. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with anybody else who you think would find it interesting. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. We get out new videos every week on nourishing recipes and natural living. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.